Amen, say man. This is the A-Man Show back at it again for more content. So the NFL regular season is over and now on to the next season, which is the postseason. With that being said, there have been teams and our players that had expectations throughout the season. Not only they didn't meet expectations, but they have been complete letdowns. There are many letdowns in the regular season, such as the Eagles and the Chiefs of all people, but those teams have not been as disappointing as the five teams I selected in this video. So without further ado, let's get on with it but first make sure y'all subscribe i post nba and nfl content turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything new anyways stay tuned and now let's get it on so the first team to mention in this video has to be the Denver Broncos. Now the Broncos had expectations towards becoming a playoff contender after trading for Sean Payton and with this move Payton's supposed to revitalize Russell Wilson into the prime time QB that he used to be back in Seattle and he was kind of. Nevertheless, the Broncos hired a very respected DC in Vance Joseph and him on the helm commanding an elite defense. It was going to be the year of the Broncos. At least we thought so, because in the first half of the season, there were 3-5 and five with the defense playing the most shitty football in the league, although they attempted a comeback by winning the next three games to improve to 6-5, and five, but they will lose to the Texans who actually ended up being the playoff team and the team that the Broncos were supposed to be, and then a blowout loss against the Lions, and then an embarrassing loss against the Patriots, is what led them to be eliminated from playoff contention. This season also led to the situation that Russell Wilson is literally getting blackballed from the organization, benching Wilson and also extorting him out of the contract. There's no kidding that Wilson will be released going into the offseason, but going back to the whole team, not only they were lackluster offensively, but defensively too. They have been anus for the whole season, a bottom five run defense if that, and with that puts them on my list. Next up has to be the Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks were supposed to grow from that last year making the playoffs after drafting guys such as Devon Witherspoon and Jackson Smith to Jitba. These guys were supposed to make an immediate impact for the Seahawks and one did this season, which was Witherspoon. The other didn't. Aside from them, the Seahawks were lackluster offensively speaking. The running game wasn't as strong as last year. Tyler Lockett was underwhelming all year. And most importantly, Geno Smith this season proved why he's one of the biggest one year wonders in league history. The man was not the same aggressive and accurate QB that he used to be in his second year starting. And there are many questions whether they need to move on from Geno Smith and draft another QB like Michael Penis Jr. or a Jaden Daniels in this upcoming draft. Defense has also taken a step back as they have one of the worst run defenses in the NFL aside from Devon Witherspoon. This secondary remains a huge concern, especially Tariq Woolen and Jamal Adams regressing significantly as players. So the issues on both sides of the ball has really led them to not even make the playoffs. And because of that, Seattle decided if it was time to part ways with Pete Carroll, and they should. Ever since 2014, the Seahawks never made a conference championship appearance. And just the game was passing by with Carroll, along with all the old coaches in the league. So Seattle going from a playoff team last year to out of the playoffs the following year puts them on my list. The Jacksonville Jaguars hilariously found themselves on my list because at a certain point, they were 8-3 and, and was in the Super Bowl consideration at one point. But since then, they went 1-5 in, in the last six games of the regular season. Defense has always been a suspect to me, all because despite the excellent play of Josh Allen and also Forshay Aludakon and guys such as Darius Williams and Tyson Campbell, their defense is rather mid. They don't have guys that can create pressure other than Trayvon Walker and Josh Allen. They really can't put pressure on the QB nor stop the run. Offensively speaking, there is no reason why the Jaguars offense to be this bad at closing games. And that has to be on Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence this year really took a step back. He really, really struggled under pressure this year. I mean, the guy is one of the worst QBs in the league under pressure. As soon as you put pressure on his face, the guy throws a stupid pick or turns over the football. Plus, the guy cannot close games. In order for the Jaguars to give him a contract extension, this man needs to play better, especially under pressure, because if he can't and ends up the same person next year, then there will be concerns whether T-Law is your franchise guy. 
so the jaguars deserve to be on the list because they're at the very least a playoff level team and they outright choked in the last six games of the regular season so they deserve to be on this list next up has to be the la chargers now the chargers may be the most disappointing team in the nfl and i will not blame me if you say that the chargers time in and time out has been so underwhelming despite having the talent to even make a super bowl appearance but the front office incompetencies especially retaining brandon staley as your head coach for too long ruined their chances of making the playoffs this man was sitting at a two and four record and the Chargers should have let this man go since then. For these people to think that Staley is going to turn around this team, um, not exactly. Since then, they went 3-8, and eight, including a 63-21 loss against the Raiders of all people. There is no reason why this defense consisting of Joey Boza, Khalil Mack, Asante Samuel Jr., Duran James, and Eric Kendricks being this anus and the same thing offensively. The Chargers are simply wasting Justin Herbert's career, and I hope to God that they get this man a competent head coach that can not only propel him, but the entire team, because all these head coaches Herbert had in the last four years has ran the team down. The Chargers may be the biggest letdown all year going from making a playoff appearance to a bottom feeder this year, especially with all the talent on the roster. Yeah, it says a whole lot. So the last team I want to discuss is the New England Patriots. It was really gut-wrenching to see the Patriots this terrible, especially being coached under Bill Belichick of all people. Going into the season, the Patriots made some acquisitions such as siding tight end Mike Gusecki, Juju Smith-Suster, and Zeke Elliott along with drafting Christian Gonzalez with the 10th overall pick. And it was looking like the Patriots were going to be a competitive team in the AFC East especially how solid Mac Jones was in the defense against the Eagles in week one. And even the likes of the Miami Dolphins too, despite them losing to those teams. But against the Cowboys, that blowout loss pretty much sums up their entire season. They will win three more games for the rest of the season and the majority of the games they lost were either by 10 points or a field goal. The Patriots simply are the worst teams in terms of closing out games and this season proves why Mac Jones is not the guy for the Patriots. This is also the year that Bill Belichick actually finally parted ways with the Patriots and man there has to be a full on reboot for this team. Firstly they need another franchise QB and they have a top three pick going into the draft and they will use that pick to either get Caleb Williams or Drake May. But going back to this whole team, the Patriots has been a whole letdown to say the least and it's going to take them a long time to get back to relevance. And that's the vid. Let me know what your opinions are about my list. Comment below on what your own biggest letdowns this season. And also make sure y'all subscribe, especially smash the like button, turn on post notifications, and that is all. Stay litty. This is the A-Man Show. Sign out.